by losing your job, you realized you, you had to leave your comfort zone and Absolutely. figure out, you had to reinvent yourself. And it sounds like, I mean, since then you've written eight books and you know, all the stuff that you've done, you travel in your van. It sounds like losing that job um, gave you so much more. Yeah, it did. Um, as I said, nowadays, I'm so grateful for it. And uh, I have a very, very wise friend. Um, he's a carpenter. And he said to me a few weeks after all that, it was a disaster. The end of my working there was a disaster. And I was devastated. And he told me, listen, I know you don't want to hear it, but there will be one day when you want to send flowers to the person who fired you. I promise that. And I said, never, ever. No, no. So oh, we I forgot about that. all that. So after eight years, um, I called him and said, you know what? Uh, now I'm grateful. Um, still not sending flowers, but grateful. <laughs> <laughs> and last year I told him, um, I am at that point now. I'd, I'd like to send some flowers to that ex-boss of mine and, and say thank you. Thank you so much for firing me and saving my life because other, otherwise I would still sit there in a room without a window, what you need when you work for television, right? It's always cold because those high and machines, they need different temperatures. And uh, you were sick eight times a year because of that. That's all that comes up now. Right? Uh, you have to ask someone, may I go on a holiday? 